So today is going to be an introduction class um, to literature. So today is going to be an One introduction second. class. Okay. All right, sorry about that. All right, and so we're going to read a Dr. Seuss short story. So this is for beginner and intermediate students, All right? Um, we're going to read the short story, uh, Fox and Socks. All right, and so I have a link for us. Um, and that's what I was checking out. The link disappeared, so I had to find a new source. All right, and so um, then I have another. Uh, we're going to work with two websites. One has the story, and one has a short video. And the video is maybe five minutes long. Uh, yeah, it's three minutes and 46 seconds. And they've animated the story for us. So what we're going to do first is we're going to read Fox and Socks. All right. Um, and I can show you the text. It's not very interesting looking. Um, I just wanted to find the words for class today. All right. Um, but I love Dr. Seuss. All right. Um, and so actually his birthday was March 2nd. Um, and he's a pretty popular uh, children's author in the United States. And he wrote in the 50s and 60s. Um, and his stories are still really popular today. So all of the little kids in the U.S., we read these stories all the time. And they're written in the form of poems. All right, so they're not too long and they're not too difficult. Um, and then the second website we're going to work with is this one. And as you can see, there's a short video. Um, so we're all going to watch the video and see if we understand the story. Um, so in this class, I only have one student. Welcome. You'll get a lot of practice reading, um, as well as answering comprehension questions. All right, and then also we get to watch a video, so it should be pretty fun. All right, um, and you'll have to excuse me; I'm a little sick, so I may need to blow my dose. All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to post the link in Verbling Chat. Um, it doesn't look like Verbling Chat is working. All right, so if you guys want, you can follow that link and follow along with us. Okay. All right, welcome to class, guys. Okay. And so we have 10 viewers, so if you, more of you want to join class within the next couple of minutes, I'll go over again what we're going to do. This is for beginner and intermediate students, okay? And we're reading Fox and Socks by Dr. Seuss. All right, this was his pen name. Pretty famous author in the U.S. All right, um, and his stories are written in the form of poems. All right, but they're not too um, they're not too difficult. Uh, the only thing is, he he does have made up words. So, and we'll talk about some of the words he's made up. Right. Hi, Mrs. Dora. Hello. Welcome to class. Uh, so I'm just going to wait a few more minutes for a few more people to join if they want to. Okay. Uh, sorry I'm sick, guys. <clears throat> all, right. Um, all right. And so there's still spots left if you guys want to join. Right. And I'll post the link again. Is Verbling Chat working for you? Yes. It is? Okay. I don't see anyone posting. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Right. Huh. Okay. I'm going to switch over to class chat, and I want you guys to follow this link and make sure you end up at this page um, that says uh, it starts with Fox and Socks by Dr. Seuss. Let me know if you have any problems getting there. <coughs> okay. And so do you guys know who Dr. Seuss is at all? I hear about it, but I don't know okay. who is this man. Yeah. All right. So, um... Well, like I mentioned before, he's a pretty popular American author. 
Um, and so it, maybe if you've heard of the story, The Cat in the Hat, or um, uh, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Uh, the Grinch. These are all movies, so I'm trying to. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, and Jim Carrey is in them. Uh, and then the last one, Horton Hears a Who, I think, is also a movie. All right, so those are some of his other short stories. All right, and so Dr. Seuss is not his uh, real name. His real name is Theodore Seuss Geisel, Geisel, something like that. All right, and so um, he wrote 46 children's books, which is pretty impressive. Um, and he died a year after um, I was born, so he died in 1991. Um, but even still, today his stories are really popular in the U.S. He's the prime author that children read um, for short stories. So everyone knows who Dr. Seuss is. And his birthday was March 2nd, and it's like a holiday that we celebrate in uh, school. So if you're in elementary school or middle school, so if you're a younger student, uh, you'll celebrate on March 2nd. You'll probably read some of his work. All right. So that's just a little short synopsis about Dr. Seuss and his life. All right. And so we can start reading. Um, and so would anyone like to read for us at all? Okay. Okay, great. <sighs> Can I read, sir? Uh, Mrs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can start for us. Uh, Fox in Socks by G.R. Seuss. Uh, Fox. Doctor. Uh, by Dr. Seuss. Fox. 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 Knox. Knox uh, in box. Fox in socks. Knox on Fox in socks in box. Socks or knocks and knocks in box. Fox in socks on box or knocks. Uh, chicks with uh, bricks. Uh, chicks with bricks me. Uh, chicks with bricks come. Uh, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look sir. Look sir. M -R, uh, Mr. Uh, Knox sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks sir. First, I will make a kick trick brick stack. Then I will make a kick trick block stack. First, I will make a kick trick brick stack. Then I will make. Stop there. All right, sorry, stop there because we have a few words. Um, so, are there any words you don't know? Because he's going to repeat them a lot. Nox. Nox? Okay, yeah. So, Nox doesn't exist. Um, as a word, but it's someone's name, and we find that out when he calls him Mr. Knox. So that's one of our characters. Okay, and so we have a few uh, repetitive words. All right, fox, uh, you know, the clever animal. Um, box, you know, a box. All right, socks, you put your, you put them on your feet. All right, and Knox is the name. All right, and so he's going to repeat these. Chicks can either be baby chickens or women. So I guess we'll find out which one it is. All right. Um, what do you mean, bricks? Bricks? Uh, yeah, so they're the red pieces of mud that we build houses and buildings out of. Uh, please repeat. Explain okay. it uh, again. And uh, please uh, speak slowly because okay. I'm Tunisian and I want to understand uh, what you are uh, saying. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, a brick is a red piece of clay or mud that is um, hardened in the sun. And, you know, it's about this size, all right? And we build houses and buildings out of them. So, um, let me see. Images. A brick. And so a brick is usually red, okay? A brick is usually red, like this, okay? And then a block is going to be cement, usually. So that's a block versus a brick, okay? Thank uh, I understand. Uh, I understood. Uh, with the brick, we can, uh, the brick is used to 
the houses. Yeah, and so are blocks, but blocks are different. Blocks are going to be for the foundation. So see how they're gray and they're cement? You can see a picture like this is what a block is, all right, um, versus a brick, and this is a brick. So we make walls out of them. They're the outside of houses, all right? Um, so are all those words clear? Because we're going to hear them a lot. Um, that's one of Dr. Seuss's um, themes is repetition. Okay? Okay. Um, so if you want below, you can continue reading for us. I think we were about here. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Uh, then I will make a, a kick a trick block stack. You okay. can make a, a kick trick chic stack. You can make a kick a, a trick a clock stack. And here is the new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on, uh, socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks, uh, on bricks and uh, blocks. Blocks and uh, on clocks uh, and the uh, box. Uh, now we come to the ticks and the uh, talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Okay, blocks, great. Blocks. Okay, so now that we've gone over some of the vocab and we've read the first part of the story, can anyone tell me again who is our main character? Mm -hmm. Who is our our main character? No. Yeah, so we have Mr. Knox and this person is talking to him and he's saying, Mr. Knox, do this, okay? All right. Um, and so, all right, so we have Mr. Knox and we have the speaker and we're not sure who the speaker is. We don't know, all right? But we know that they're talkative, okay, or chatty, okay, which means they, they talk a lot, <laughs> all right? And uh, they talk quickly because even when um, Bilal was reading it, he was reading quickly, and it's supposed to just come off your tongue very quickly. All right. All right. And so this poem is nonsensical. So if you're a little confused, that's okay. All right. Uh, it's nonsensical. He's telling him to stack bricks, so to stack the red things. Um, to stack is to make a pile. All right. Um, and then to stack blocks and then to stack chicks. Um, and can you stack baby chickens? Any idea? So can you stack a baby chicken? Alright, so... Oop. If I go to screen share... Alright, so this is a chick. Can you stack them? Can you put them in piles? No. No. All right, so this poem is nonsensical. He also tells him, uh, all right, and so this is a clock. Can we stock, stack clocks? I mean, do we normally do that? Of course no. No. All right, so... This poem is nonsensical, and I'll write that down for you. Nonsensical, all right? There's no sense to it. It's kind. It's supposed to be a little confusing. Okay. All right. It's supposed to be a little confusing. Okay. Do I have another volunteer to read for us? Um, I can read. Okay, um, and before you do, I just have a quick question for everyone. Now we come to ticks and talks. What's a tick and talk? We say in English, you may hear a uh, tick talk a lot. When someone says tick talk, tick talk, time, tick talk. Yes, yeah, so it's the idea that you're taking too much time. Okay, so when we're going tick talk, 
TikTok, we're aggravated. We want you to do something more quickly. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, was it Mc McDum who said he wanted to read? Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. yes. Uh, okay. So we're at this part, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think in here, clocks on fox stick. Yep. Clocks on on nox chop six. Yes. Here. Yeah. Yep. Here. You're correct. Okay. Okay. Clocks on fox stick. Clocks on nox chop six. Six. Brick stick. Six. Six. Chick stop. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and stuck and chucks, sir. I can do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Uh, here is an, e an easy game to play. Here is an easy thing to say. Okay, so we just you, found out, wait, the name of our okay. second character. What is the name of our second character? Mr. Fox. Yeah, Mr. so Fox. now we have Mr. Fox. And we learned what they're doing in the last line. What are they playing? An easy, an easy game. Yeah, so they're playing a game, and now they're going to play an easier game, so something more easy. All right? Um, and so, did anyone, can anyone figure out what the game kind of is? So, um, our reader kind of stumbled a little bit, and that's what he was supposed to do. Uh, it's a tongue twister, all right? So, it's difficult to say. Um, and we see that in this paragraph right here. I'm highlighting. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. So when you read a tongue twister, you're supposed to read it very quickly. And you're not supposed to make mistakes. But of course we all do. And he says, I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. Okay, so we find out that it was a poem after all, and that they are kind of competing uh, for who can say it the fastest and with the least mistakes. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I've done this with students before. All right, and if you're a little confused, that's all right. We're going to watch the video, and it's animated, so that should explain uh, and kind of show more of what the um, poem is about. All right. Uh, so can you continue, Mikdan, for us? Okay. Okay. New sucks. Two sucks. Who sucks? Sue sucks. Who? Who sues? Who sucks? Sue. Sue's who? Uh, Sue sucks. Who sees who? Sue who's new sucks, sir. You see, so, so, uh, so, so, so's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe cr cr uh, Crow comes. Uh, who sows crow's clothes? So, 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 crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow so whose clothes? So's clothes. So, 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 uh, suck off fox in socks now. Slow, slow Joe, crow sows, knocks in box now. It's not easy to read. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but it's good for pronunciation. Uh, You're doing well. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, 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 Joe Crow's clouds. Fox sows house house on slow Joe Crow crows knows. Good, all right. And so mm. I won't torture you anymore. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys a few questions. 
All right, um, and so hopefully you can see what words I'm highlighting. Uh, what is a Sioux, or who is a Sioux? What? A Sioux. What is S-U-E? Is that? Adjudicate. Um, okay, so we have, we have one sense of the word uh, Sioux. Um, but if we have it capitalized, it's a female first name. Okay? Um, and so what is S-E-W, to sew? To sew clothes. To sew. Yeah, to sew clothes. So taking a needle and thread and making or fixing something. Okay? All right, um, and, and so Dr. Seuss says some bizarre things, of course. So he says, who sews, who socks? Sue sews, Sue socks. All right, do we sew socks? Any ideas? Do we sew socks? And so let me get a picture of a sock here. So this is a sock. Do we sew them normally? Or is that kind of bizarre? Yes. No, b b bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre. If you have a hole in your sock, what do you do with it normally? Any ideas? Uh, uh, repeat the question, please. Yep. So if you get a hole in your sock, what do you do with it normally? Uh, if the hole is big, I uh, uh, throw it. Yeah. You throw you take it. A needle, uh, you take a needle. Uh, uh, you take uh, a needle and uh, a thread, and you graft it. Oh, and you okay, and you you patch it up. Yeah, so you can patch it up, but I think normally socks are pretty cheap. So maybe if you get a big hole in them especially in the back, in the heel, you may, we say uh, you throw them, and you are very close, out. We just need the one word. So you throw them out, or you throw them in the trash. Okay. Um, Sometimes, I know my grandfather will, you can say, uh, patch it up. So you put another piece of fabric over the hole. But uh, normally, I, I don't think people are, all the school <laughs> <laughs> are doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's a little old school. <laughs> All right, um, and then we have another character who's introduced, and who is this new character? We have a Mr. Knox, a Mr. Fox, Sue, and who else? Comes. I'm sorry, what? Comes. Uh, who okay. comes? Who comes is a question. So who comes? And the answer is right afterwards. They give his name. It's an animal name. Crow. Crow. Yeah. Crow. So slow Joe Crow. Um, so Joe Crow. Uh, and just something else that's a little random, but maybe you should be aware of. Uh, in English, especially in America, you never really want to mention Jim Crow, all right? <laughs> so Joe Crow in the poem is okay, but Jim Crow um, refers to the segregation laws in the U.S. up until the 1960s. So Jim Crow, not really a good topic to talk about. Joe Crow, character in the poem. Just making that distinction. Um, so just be careful about Jim Crow. Okay? Everyone understand? Yeah. Okay. Never say D D D Jim Crow. Yeah. You can, you can use it more in a political discussion, but, um, yeah, you just don't want to bring it up. <laughs> like, oh, those Jim Crow laws. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Not okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. And does anyone know what a hose is? What is a hose? 
What? Please write it. Mm -hmm. A hose. H O S E. We have two definitions of this word. One the hose is of, clothing. Uh, the hose of water. Yeah. So one is a garden hose. And then we have another one. What's another sense of this word? So we have a hose for water. Or a sock. Yeah. So, um, and it's short for like hosiery, and it's usually for uh, women. So, like stockings. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, hosiery, hose, stockings uh, for women, usually. <laughs> All right. Okay. And what's a rose? What is a rose? I think flowers, rose. Yeah. Like flowers. Um, and so a rose is a pretty, uh, pretty smelling flower. It's the symbol of love sometimes. Um, at least in my culture, it's the symbol of love, a red rose. Okay. Yellow for sick grandparents. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, okay. So would anyone like to continue reading for us? Uh, me. All right. Go ahead. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We will find something new to do now. We will find uh, something... Uh, we will find some. We will find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue go, uh, goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey, uh, blue goo, new goo, gluey, gluey, gooey goo for chewy chewing. Uh, that's what uh, that goo goose is doing. Do you choose the, uh, to chewy goo too, sir? If sir, you sir choose to chewy, sir. Uh, with the goo goose, chewy, sir. Do, sir. Uh, Mr. Fox, sir. I won't do it. I can't say. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We will find another game to play. Beam comes. Ben comes. Beam brings Ben broom. Be, uh, ben brings Beam broom. Ben bends Beam's broom. Beam bends Ben's broom. Beam's bends. Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom bricks. Beam's bent broom bricks. Ben's band. Beam's band. Big bands. Big bands. Uh, beam and Ben lead uh, bands with brooms. Ben, Ben's, uh, Ben's band bangs and Beam's uh, band booms. Big uh, band. Boom band. Big, uh, ba big band. Broom band. My poor mouth can say that. No, sir. My mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your uh, bring your mouth this way. I will find it something it can say. Good. Uh, All right. So stop there. So we have another tongue twister. All right. And the tongue twister is this, and I'm highlighting it. Um, it's pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. All right, and then it's everything else that he read up here. So all this nonsensical, all right, all of this, this nonsense, all right, that was the tongue twister, and he did really well, all right? So their game is saying these words as quickly and as correctly as possible. All right, and so we're going to talk about a few words. What is goo? What is goo? G-O-O. Any ideas? Can you describe it to me? Oh, am I still here? It is Sorry. not. Uh, it is not. Uh, uh, it is not a word. It is not hard. Yeah. What else can we say about it? Any ideas? So it's not hard. So uh, it's not solid. But is it I liquid? Think, uh, I think uh, that we. Uh, I think uh, that they use uh, that uh, the author use it in order to describe uh, like uh, a beast. In order to describe a what? To describe uh, a beast. A beast. Okay. Um. What? Or to name a beast. What is something that is uh, gooey that we chew? On a pretty regular basis, it may be minty or fruity. 
Gum. Yeah. Okay, so not solid. It's sometimes sticky. Um, goo can sometimes be gross. All right, something gross uh, sometimes. All right. Um, I mean, gum isn't gross, but it's a it's a gross concept. All right, so goo. Wow, these are really weird images. Uh, we can also use the word slime. All right. So slime. All right. Um, so something like this. All right. It's goopy. You can say goopy, where it clumps together. It's not liquid, but it's not solid. You know, it's in between. Um, and that's something that we call a. Uh, it, it's viscous. All right. So it, which means it's not solid. It's not solid. Uh, but it's definitely not a liquid. All right. So it's kind of like trying to describe gum, G-U-M. How do you describe that? It's chewy, it's gooey, all right? So a little difficult to describe. Uh, what's a goose, G-O-O-S-E? Any ideas? Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, uh, gis or gis. Okay, and what are they? Can you classify what geese or a goose is? Uh, uh, an, an animal. Yeah, so they're, they're birds. All right. I'll show you a picture. So usually, you know, a goose. All right. Or a white goose. All right. Canadian goose. All right. Okay. And then uh, let's go back to the poem. All right. Good, and so then I'm not going to talk about the nonsense here because it doesn't make any sense, all right? Okay. Uh, does anyone want to start with Luke Luck Likes Lakes? <laughs> Sorry. Luke Luck Likes Lakes. Anyone? It's good practice for pronunciation, so don't be scared if you're a beginner. Me. Tongue twisters are to just help you. I'm very scared of this word. <laughs> okay. uh, well, why don't you try it, Amar? You can read slowly. It's okay. And it's just to help you with pronunciation and getting uh, practice speaking English. Yeah? Willing okay. to give it a try? All right. Okay, I will try. You can do it. <laughs> um, look, look, like, licks. Looks, ducks, likes, likes, uh, look, look, licks, likes, looks, duck, licks, likes, duck, takes, uh, uh, licks, and uh, licks, look, look, likes, look, look, takes, looks, and look, duck. Licks, I can't blab, blab, sush, blabber, blabber. Uh, my tongue is uh, make of uh, river, Mr. Knox. Now come, now come, now come, now you don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Mm -hmm. Throw, throw uh, three, choose cheese, cheese, trees, three, free, fleas, flow. Awesome. Yeah, this is really difficult. You're doing great, though. Right. Will those fleas flow freezy, breezy? Free. Blow freezy, breezy, mid those three trees freezy. Freeze. Freeze, freezy, trees mood those trees. Choose freeze. That's what made this three free flies sneeze. Okay. Stop it, stop it. That's inch, sir. I can't say such silly stuff. 
very well then Mr. Knox sir let's have a little talk about the twilty beetles twittle beetles <laughs> twittle beetles what do you know about the twittle beetles well we twittle beetles fight it's called a twittle beetles beetle beetle battle beetle battle battle, battle. beetle battle a uh, battle Good. and uh, when they battle in a battle it's it's mm -hmm. a, a tweetle ba battle battle ba battle <laughs> okay so tweetle okay tweetle beetle puddle battle so tweetle Tweetle, battle, Be beetle, beetle, battle, puddle, uh, battle, 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 battle. Yeah, he's really testing your vowel sounds right there. All right. Uh, would anyone like to continue reading for us just to work on your pronunciation? Me. Right. So you've read twice. I want to see if Fonfo. Or Olga, would you be interested? Yes, um, Who? Franfo? Yes, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Can you continue reading for us? Okay. Uh, uh, when, uh, when they battle in a battle, it's a Tweetle Beetle Battle Battle. And when Tweetle Battles battle with the battles in a battle, they call it a tweetle beetle battle battle mm -hmm. battle and when beetles battle beetles in a battle 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 and the beetle battle what <laughs> a puddle. Uh, battle is a battle in a bottle yeah <laughs> bottle they call this a tweetle beetle battle battle puddle paddle battle be paddle Battle, muddle. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And? And when, when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their battles, and the bottles on a boodle and boodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle, battle, twittle, boodle, beetle, noodle, bottle, battle, battle. And now wait a minute, Mr. Sucks Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where Oop, did we lose you? Where the Tweetle Beetles battle with their battle in a bottle on a noodle eating bottle. This is what they call a Tweetle Beetle noodle bottle bottle battle. Muddle duddle fuddled waddled fuddled waddled Waddle, fox in a sock, sir. Our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Great job. All right, so as you can tell, all right, some of these words are made up. Can you find any words in this last part that do not exist in English? Can we list some of these words that are that do not exist? Any ideas? Noodle. No, noodle, bodily. Uh, so noodle is a word. It's pasta. Uh, and a poodle dadlet. is a dog. Dadlet. What word? Dadlet. Oh, battle. So a battle is to fight. No, no. Uh, I mean uh, dadlet. Can you take I like it in chat? chat. I write yeah. it in chat. Oh, duddled, yeah, duddled, definitely. Uh, there's two words next to that as well. What are they? Duddled, fuddled, waddled. Yeah, yeah, but muddled is a word that does exist, and it means not clear. So a muddled is not clear. Uh, so. Uh, when you're talking about an idea, so um, 
Let's see if I can give you an example. Just give you a minute to come up with one. <laughs> Muddled. Uh, he was muddling a lot about in the kitchen. So it can also be uh, to be busy, but in a confused way. Um, yeah, so I guess it's more of aha, uh -huh. misplaced suggestions and muddled thinking. Yeah. So I had to. Yeah. I was muddled reading this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good. And yeah, Tweedle, that's not a real word. Tweedle, good job. All right. <coughs> Um, and let's see, do we have any other made up words? No, I think that's it in this section. Forward. Which word? Uh, uh, forward, only forward. Only four words. That's not yeah. too bad. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this link. All right. Let me know if you have trouble getting there. All right, and so what you should see when you get there is the movie, Socks and Socks. And what I want you to do, I want you to mute your mic and watch the video. Okay? So, like okay. this. Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. Fox Socks, Box, Knox, Knox in Box, Fox in
Mrs. Lara? I'm not yeah. hearing you. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, I hear you now. Okay, I, okay. I muted it. Um, so we'll give people one more minute to get through most of the video and then we'll start back up and talk about it. Uh, I have a question I want to ask you to, to ask yeah. it to you. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, 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 Mrs. Laura, mm -hmm. uh, in your life as a student, uh, how you faced the obstacles and the difficulties uh, that you found? Uh, from what uh, you uh, stimulated yourself uh, to uh, be on this, uh, uh, to be on the uh, the big barriers that you found in your life as a student? Um, well, that's a little hefty. Uh, we only have a few minutes left in class. Um, and uh, I, I can't really answer that question. I haven't really had that many um, obstacles with my education. Uh, it went pretty smoothly. So, yeah. All right. Um, so what I want us to do um, is just to answer the question, did the video make the story clearer for you? So are you able to understand the story of Fox and Sox better with the video at all? Yes, yeah, they were really fast. <laughs> yeah, um, and so they speak very quickly. All right, um, so did you understand, you know, the things I labeled as nonsense, the tongue twisters? Uh, were those uh, tongue twisters, those images, clear for you? So the goose and bim and bam and yeah. what were the other ones? Clocks and chicks and bricks. Um, so what they were doing. All right. Um, and so after uh, you watched the video, did you like the story? Did you think it was fun or did you think it was too difficult because this will help me for some other classes as well. No, it if made I it watch clearer. It just... Made it clear? Okay, great. Clear for you. And I heard someone else speaking. Yeah, if I watch this video all day, it's never be born. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay. All right, so you really liked it. Yeah. yeah. It's colorful. It's um I like the voices, how they change and everything. Um, and he does different voices for the characters. And the speed also. Um, yes, and the speed. What happens with the speed? When does his voice, uh, when does he speak more quickly? Did you notice? With the T and T. D and T and B. Okay. Battle, battle. Okay, like yeah. This. So he, he got uh, really quick when he was doing the tongue twisters, which is the opposite reaction that we had. When we get to a difficult part, we slow down. So instead of saying, uh, where's one of them? You know, Sue sews rose on, so Joe's crows. We say Sue sews rose on. So we pronounce and enunciate the words. Do you think he had to practice a lot to read so quickly or do you think that it was fabricated so do you think they did it just on the video they sped up his voice with a machine what do you think hi no, no it came by Welcome. practice I think but the question is how for how long did he <laughs> practice it yeah exactly how long month, did he have to maybe, practice or? I don't know if I could do it that quickly after a month. I may need more time. All right. So this was a great class, guys.